What's going on everybody, it's Zach Muggle here and today we are going to be making a pop beat with the roads. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and check out lizardrecords.net. Let's get right into this. So I have this Rhodes sound pulled up. Sounds like that. And we're going to be obviously layering this and building out a full production, but we're just going to get started here with some chords. So let's open up the roads and we're going to slow this down to like 112 BPM. Let's get some bass notes figured out. Ah. We're going to build this in um, A minor. So basically all the white keys is what the notes are currently. And then we're just pitching up middle note and a chord. And that's essentially how we're building these chords are right now. Like that. Now we're gonna take these root notes here and we're gonna duplicate them again. We're gonna pitch those up. Build like these really bigger chords. And then we're gonna take these notes here and pitch them down. So, we so just like that, we now have bigger chords. We're gonna go ahead and strum these. That sounds like that. And then we're gonna randomize velocities. And that's gonna be our little basic roads for now. We might come back into this pattern, do some more stuff to it eventually. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up Arcade and we're gonna be using one of their new note kits. They have these banks essentially that you can actually play melodies with. So we're gonna go into one called Particles Note Kits and we're gonna play one of these. As you can see, we can do like different pads and stuff. We're going to use this sound here. We're going to actually just copy over the chords. And we're going to throw a ton of reverb on it. So that's just like a little background sound. Now we're going to get started on some drums. We're going to do like some disco pop sort of vibes on the drums. I'm going to lower the velocity on this kick here. Playing around velocities can do a lot for making your drum sound more realistic. So that's what we're doing with these hats. Change up the velocities throughout. Throw a crash. Just turn the out knob on that. It's not as long. Put that there. Up. Just like that, we kind of have like a starting basis. We're gonna go ahead and add some more to this though. Next thing I want to do is open up Omnisphere. I want to throw a synth bass on this. And we're going to be using like my classic synth bass preset that I like using. So let's open up Omnisphere here. And we're going to search this and then just find it. And it should be right here. And what we're going to do is take the bottom notes of the chord here. Not these bass notes because these are different. Those technically aren't the bass notes of the chords. It's like actually here because if you remember we inverted all the chords so this D that's at the bottom here music theory wise is technically actually not the bass note that we're looking for because if you look at the chord the G is actually the bass note so that's why we're taking these chord notes there just playing that in like this and we're going to pitch up those so just like that we now have a synth bass so last but not least, I want like one more sound on this and we're going to actually go into Excess and try to find something from here. I'm going to use this sound here. Before we even lay down what I want to do, I already know 
want to filter quite a bit. This is just going to play these top notes here. So let's get started on the mix. We got these chords here. I'll open up Shaver Box. And I'm throwing a reverse on this. This sound, we already did the little mixing on it. Just turning down that. Bass, and now let's get started on the drum. Just like that, we have a pop beat using a road. So let's get started on the arrangement here because we've got a lot of different sections. And I'm going to make all of these 8 bar patterns instead of 4 bar. It just makes it easier when it comes to the actual arrangement. At least in my opinion, some people like to arrange in 4 bar sections. Generally, I go for eight, so we can create all that over like that, and there we go. Now we have eight bar sections. So, yeah. so the intro will just be that. Those two sounds play in there, chords, and we're gonna throw like a little riser effect in here. Turn out the volume, lower the pitch of it a bit. Throw this sound effect here. Oh my God. Like a dropper. Like that. And we're gonna have this rise back up again drums here, second half of the hook we'll have this sound come back in, first, and duplicate this section again, copy and paste this and that's going to be how we end up arranging things. Just like that, and then we'll just throw a little bit of volume automation here. But if you guys did enjoy and you want to see more, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out loserrecords.net. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Head on over to elizabethrecords.net if you'd like to support me. You can purchase VST expansion banks, drum kits, loop kits, and mini kits that'll level up your production there.